welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Gerald Blaine. Uh, Gerald, uh, one of the things that's happened is the electric conversation has actually got us to talk a lot about um, other fuel possibilities because we all know that there's not ele enough electricity out there to be able to do what they want to do. So you're seeing uh, some new fuel possibilities that are really talked about. So maybe talking a little bit about hydrogen. Yeah, and, and some of the same electric problems we have with grid and transmission apply to hydrogen just the same. Mm -hmm. You know, talking about trying to blend 20% uh, hydrogen with, you know, 80% uh, natural gas. Right. And a lot of that's because of the, the leak move problems. So the, the molecular structure of hydrogen is significantly smaller. You have to have different seals and so forth. But they feel like that they can, and, and you have embrittlement problems. Yeah, yeah. So they feel like if you only blend, say, 20%, that that might work. Right. Now, the challenge with that is putting it into the same pipeline and the same square footage, uh, you're not going to compress the hydrogen. So hydrogen only has about a third of the BTU content of natural gas. Yeah. So if we take, say, five square feet, we're going to drop down uh, from 5,000 BTUs over that five square feet to let, uh, 667 uh, BTUs less, 13% less in the same space. Okay. So here you are uh, transmitting all this energy, but you're transmitting less energy, about 13%, for the benefit of a maybe 7% decrease in CO2. Okay. Which it is a decrease, but now we've got all these issues with uh, burning appliances. You know, right. Because now the content's different. Right, so, right, right. Can so you burn 100%? You absolutely can. This burner here, uh, not at this moment, could do it. But if we open this up, pulled it out, and put our hydrogen head in, it is able to compress the hydrogen into the same amount of BTUs per square foot by compression. So we're able to burn 100% hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So the blend concept uh, kind of derates the system. Sure. You know? sure. Plus, we'll have to make some modifications. I think you mentioned to me earlier, there's some pilot issues. We'd have to have natural gas to burn off pilots. Right. Uh, so there are some complications. Like I said, you have to have the right seals and so forth. Uh, you don't really have a lot of changes to the boiler, even yeah. though it burns quite a bit hotter mm -hmm. uh, and faster. And you won't get the, the heat exchange that you need. Um, but this has to be modified. But it, it could, we can do it. We have the proper heads for it. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't come up a lot because most of the 100% hydrogen that's being burned are at industrial sites that hydrogen is a byproduct. Dude. So they're not manufacturing it from electricity or having to worry about doing it from a green fuel so that it's not so expensive. Yeah. Um, is it more or less than natural gas? Price-wise? Yeah. Well, for them, it's a byproduct. So they have to get rid of it. Yeah. But if you're buying it, hydrogen to do it. Uh, well, hydrogen, if you're going to make it through the regular electric system, which might have natural gas burner or it has a coal unit, which those are coming down pretty quickly. It's significantly more expensive. Than yeah. Now it's a lot cleaner, but in the context of only doing a blend yeah. and derating the units and all the different appliances in the country that are going to be using it, that's, that's kind of odd. Yeah. And I don't know, I know the, the engineers are trying to work on how do we solve that problem? Because uh, they certainly can't do, transmit 100%. Right. So what ends up happening, the, the plants that have the byproduct, it's localized. So they control the small transmission area versus mm -hmm. coming out of the pipeline. Right, right. And okay. so uh, we can talk a little bit about that on the gas train side. But, yeah, hydrogen is not new. Uh, the blend concept's more new than anything. Sure. All right. Well, let's check out the gas train. So to talk a little more about hydrogen and hydrogen ready, here's an area where it, you have to solve a lot of complications. So you have a lot of seals here. Here you have the gas train. This gas train is not ready. Now, there are a lot of new gas trains. If you were going to make a modification, like if we were going to get this all hydrogen ready, we get our new heads and we put a hydrogen ready gas train in here. But you can see if you had a localized source of producing hydrogen, mm -hmm. we'd have a lot smaller transmission area to concern ourselves with. Sure. And we would deliver 100%. Right. We wouldn't even try to blow. Yeah. Um, 
So that's going to be the real challenge with the engineering going forward. No different than the electrical grid being too small for what we're going to need on the electricity side. Mm -hmm. Same problems with hydrogen. It's a great idea for uh, a lot of different reasons, but there's a lot of hurdles that we still have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the discussions obviously are good to have. Um, and I think, you know, technology is continuing to push, um, you know, are there some different technologies, uh, especially with the electric com conversation right now, right? So I know everybody's looking at that. Um, hydrogen seems to be a big topic and we want to make sure we cover that. So check us out, come out and see all of our stuff in, on the Wear Boiler YouTube channel. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and share all of those videos. And we'll see you next time on the Boiling Point.